We're at Credit and Golf Club. This is something I've wanted to do for quite a while now. I just want to go out on the golf course, be creative, play my own game, have fun, shape shots, try and hit stingers, and just go out there and have fun on the golf course rather than trying to think technically and just plod my way along. I want to go out there, try and put off some shots and just, just have fun, nail some drives. Yeah, should be an interesting course vlog. If you've watched the daily vlog as well, you would have known that my new driver has just arrived in the post. Thank you, Jamie, again. It's the first hole at Credit Inn. Most of you will already know this. 394, downhill, and it is playing. To be honest, there's no wind at all. So we're just going out having fun. I'm gonna give this, I'm gonna give this the beans and try and get it as far down there as you possibly can. Aim in safe side of the green, which is right side at that reddish tree behind there. Oh my days. I have just absolutely caned that. That's huge. So instead of trying to pitch this there with a 58, I'm just gonna roll a 50 along the ground a little bit more. I'm gonna land it about five yards short of the green and let it skip on. It's all very firm. Ah, played it like a 58. <laughs> so instead of actually playing that one like I had a 50 degree wedge in my hand, I played it like I had a 58 and then just landed it way too far. Right, 35 foot down the hill. Go. Hole two is 4.34, slides round to the right this one, so I'm gonna try and hit a fade off the tee. I find it very hard to hit a fade, but I'm gonna give it a go. So to hit a fade, I'm gonna tee it up a little bit lower, aim up the left-hand side of this fairway and just get it sliding back. Maybe hit it a little bit lower as well. Low squeezy fade. Ended up right hand side. And my ball ended up just right at the fairway. Ended up in some of these rabbit holes, I just dropped it out. And I have not got a shot at all. So you pin up there, so I'm gonna have to try and take it along the left tree line. I'm gonna try and go for the shot. Try and get it to fade up and around to the green. At 185, quite impossible. But we're having fun, so I'm gonna give it a go. Club face wide open, feet way left. Oh wow. I think that one is worthy of a zoom. See, this is what I love when you come out on a golf course and just sort of get creative and try shots which you wouldn't normally try. I mean, stuff like that I used to do in competitions all the time and I kind of now get to the point where I'm thinking maybe I should start playing with a little bit more, a little bit more creativity behind me and take more risks because I enjoy it more and if I enjoy it more, I'm going to be more confident and if I put off a shot like that my confidence is also going to go through the roof. Sometimes I think it's just it's not always all about plodding your way around. Nice to roll this one in. No. 
third hole we got 197 to pin again wind there is literally no wind at all today so i'm just going to try and hit a little fade with a five iron i'm starting at the hump on the left hand side and just fading it back hitting sh shaping shots mainly for me is just feel i don't get too technical with it i might aim obviously slightly left in club face square <laughs> That is a double cross straight to the other green. <laughs> I've gone to the wrong pin. So this green is a double green and yeah, yeah, definitely the, I went to the wrong. I think if that was online, it might have been good for distance, maybe five yards short of the hole, kind of pin high here. I'm not going to take the flag out, so this goes in. It's a two shot penalty and I'll make a four. This has to be about 60 foot. So this hole is a dog leg right, it's 430 yards. And I'm just trying to leave myself on the left-hand side of the corner to leave myself an angle into the green. So it's going to be a little stinger draw up there. Perfect. 179. Problem is with it, that pin as well, slightly towards the back. It's sort of like an upside down, upturned saucepan green. You don't want to go long. I'm thinking of playing a draw with an eight iron into this. I know it doesn't sound like much club, but I'd much rather be short. Or miss that. I think I would rather have been in the bunker as well because that is not a tasty lie. Just landing this about seven foot on, letting it roll out. Got my 58. Well, oh, that came out with no spin at all. So it came out dead and left that. I struck it right out there. That's where the ball came off, but it was almost fat. It's got quite a bit of grass between the club and the ball. Come on, not this one in. Solid. Okay, it's par five, 502 yards, goes round to the left, then a little bit round to the right at the end. I'm gonna try and make eagle here. So I'm gonna step on this drive quite hard. down the other fairway. Now I've got these huge trees in my way here which I just I don't think I can get over. Greens through there. I really don't know what to do here. It's kind of when I, when I got a shot like this I need to stand up over the ball set up and just see what I feel. No I can get a nine iron high enough and far enough. I'm gonna go for a really high slice with a nine. Yeah, right over the corner of these trees. Open the club face right up and just hit a nine as hard as I can. One seven five to pin. Ah. 
that was worth the wait. At this one about 30 foot here left for birdie. I was lucky really that one hit the trees and ricocheted back out into the middle just into some into some light rough. Come on then. This will be a birdie for the ages if it goes in. Not going to complain with a par. Right, it's so got two tenths of the back, so I'm going to take five iron just to be safe, but I'm going to hit a big draw and try and turn it as much as I can. If you're wondering why I'm teeing up on the left-hand side of the tee box, it's just for a better camera angle. I'm really turning this one from right to left. Which is difficult for me, especially when I'm trying to hit it low because I tend to try and I tend to come down steeper on it. Perfect. So that was a really decent shot off the tee that just started it right hand side of the fairway turning it back over around the corner slightly with a five iron probably ended up about 215 down here 95 left in just going to try and land a 58 at about 90. Why is that going left? Hey, it's still pretty good. That's really weird. Top of the ball fight just started to go, start turning left a little bit. Must be a little bit of breeze up there. Nice new flags, credit and did not expect to be under par taking stupidly high risk shots. Come on. 